They're dirty, demanding, and definitely unusual. CBS 2 News' Dave Malkoff goes in search of the worst job I ever loved. Sunday at 11. Think your job stinks? Imagine picking up giraffe poop for a living. We fill a dumpster about every four days. Sounds more like a bad dream than a career. Meet a lady who's making a living with a pooper scooper. So how often do you buy new shoes? <laughs> the worst job I ever loved. Sunday on CBS 2 News at 11. Okay, tonight the smelly edition of the worst job I ever loved as we meet the giraffe pooper scooper at the Santa Barbara Zoo. Here's CBS 2's Dave Malkoff. It truly feels like Jurassic Park. Here beneath the monster footsteps, zookeeper Michelle Green is starting her day. This is our giraffe barn. The Santa Barbara Zoo has placed her in charge of three adult giraffes. Don't be fooled, they can and do kick. Being 15 feet tall, their reach of their legs is about 10 feet all the way around them, so it's hard to get close and stay safe at the same time. That's why she cleans the yard all by herself. Well, sort of. Yeah, this one is Candace. Um, she was hand raised, so she's a little bit more comfortable with people. What's she looking for? The bugs that the poop attracts, she eats. Mm -hmm. In Africa, crown cranes and Baringo giraffes live together. You ready? Ready to go scoop poop? Let's go scoop poop. Come on, Candace. They do here as well. We're out to collect giraffe droppings. Oh, they look like pretty big marbles. Pellets, they call them. And there's plenty left behind just since yesterday. We fill a dumpster about every four days. Candace, am I doing it right? Is this right? Is this right, Candace? No? No? And I also work with the gorillas. So for me, the small pellets of the giraffe are not that much compared to what the gorillas can put out. All this makes Candace smile. The more giraffe leftovers. They're just beetle grubs. The more bugs left behind for this not-so-camera-shy bird. Best part of her breakfast. The giraffes with their long legs don't dare wander past these rocks. They could trip. You can guarantee wherever you see tall, beautiful grass, it's a giraffe-free area. That's why Michelle places the bird food here as her stinky job continues. I'm sure you smell a little bit at the end of the day. I didn't realize are you all right? It was oh, are you okay? That, my friends, would be me accidentally touching the 3,000 volt electric shepherd fence. Sorry about that. I should have told that beforehand. Giraffes love bamboo. It goes way over here, cabled to a tree. That one's not electrified, right? This one is not electrified. Okay, I just want to check. <laughs> just want to make sure. <laughs> Some days the pulley system works better than others. So I've got an idea. Why don't we just get Candace to take this and just fly it up? <laughs> Candace and Michelle both have smelly feet. Especially my car smells like it a little bit, the locker room, all kinds of stuff. I eventually threw these pair of boots away. They give us some pretty hardy shoes. Although giraffes are peaceful, their droppings pack a punch. Good job! Goes to show, with the right partner, any job can be a breeze. You know, I get to work outside with a lot of amazing animals, and it's never the same day twice. You can actually come down this close to the big tongue here at the Santa Barbara Zoo for about $5 or less than that. And you can feed them just like this. But you can't get down into the cage with Candace, the bird that had so much fun down there. So I placed some extra video of her on our website. That's CBS2.com. One more. I'm Dave Malkoff in Santa Barbara, CBS2 News. I gotta tell you, giraffes have some kind of tongue. <laughs> a seriously long tongue. That looks fun. Anyway, I really applaud her for doing that job because in the summertime when it gets to be 100 degrees, ooh, must it stink. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Absolutely. I'll tell you what, though, I know a lot more about giraffes and gorillas than I ever wanted to know. I know. <laughs>